all, my name is Parker. Welcome to my channel, Parker Math and More. I am six years old and I want to take you on a math adventure. Today's topic is our numeral system. A numeral system is used to represent or show numbers and counting in math. It is the first thing you need to know in math in order to move on to adding and subtracting. The easiest and most natural number system is simply drawing a picture to show the quantity. Here are four Legos. I can represent this amount by drawing four squares like this. One, two, three, four. This drawing directly shows how many Legos I'm holding. In direct representation, I draw a picture of the quantity of things. So if I am interested in triangles, I draw triangles. If I am interested in apples, I draw apples, and so on. Oh, sorry, Mama. If I'm interested in three Legos, I draw three boxes. One, two, three. This numeral system works, but you know what? Drawing the actual object that is being counted takes up too much space. So instead of drawing a full picture of what I am interested in counting, I'm only drawing straight lines instead. These lines are called tally marks. With tally marks, I am still directly showing what I am counting, but I am simplifying it to just drawing straight lines instead. So the tally mark system has only one type of unique digit or symbol. Every number in the tally mark system is represented by some quantity of straight lines. So the tally marks are easy to understand, take up less space, and are quicker to write. But what if we want even bigger numbers, like the number 40? Here are 40 tally marks. Now imagine having to do this much writing. Anytime you want to represent a really big number, it takes too long and takes way too much space. So we need a system that is better for really big numbers. To do this, what is widely used is a positional numeral system based on 10 unique digits or symbols instead of one unique digit. This is the number 40 in the tally mark system. This is the number 40 in a position-based numeral system. Drawing this is a lot faster than drawing that. In a position-based numeral system with 10 unique digits instead of one unique digit, the digit positioned all the way to the right is called the ones place. This represents counting things one at a time. The position to the left of the ones place digit is called the tens place. This represents groups of 10 or skip counting in groups or jumps of 10 at a time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. As you know, after nine comes 10. To draw 10, the nine in the ones place resets. It goes back to the digit zero. Then to the left of the ones place, we advance that position by one. This is the ones place position, and this is the tens place position. The ones place goes up or down in units of one at a time, and the tens place goes up or down in units of ten at a time. So there's a blank here in the tens place. You can think of that blank as a zero. So advancing the tens place by one moves it from zero to one. By the way, why was six afraid of seven? Because seven, eight, nine. <laughs> now after 19, like before, the nine resets to a zero. And the position to the left of the ones place moves up from one to two. Here is the number 32. The tens digit is a three. This means there are three groups of 10 things, which is 30 things. The ones digit is a two, so this means there are another two things in addition to the thirty. 
30 and 2, which is usually said as 32. I hope you have enjoyed today's discussion. We've learned about two different ways of showing numbers. In the tally mark system, we draw tally marks to directly show the quantities. This system is simple, since there is only one type of digit, which is straight lines. But this does not work with really big numbers. It takes too long and takes way too much space. Most people use a numeral system with 10 unique digits. In this system, the position of the digit helps you write really big quantities. Thanks for watching. Remember to multiply your fun and divide your worries. You can count on Parker Math and more, so please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already.